What up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube, we are back, home in my beautiful house, whoo, echo, 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 <laughs> ain't nobody here but me, shit, this motherfucker be vacant all week when I'm gone, but anywho, let's get into the shit, alright, uh, I'm just waking up too. After all this the long night of research and shit, I'm always researching shit, trying to, you know, feed the brain, get a little smarter now that I'm getting older. But let's get into this shit. Packers signed Jimmy Graham and Muhammad Wilkerson. Uh, I think uh, Wilkerson is signed to a one-year deal, and we signed Jimmy G, Jimmy, Jimmy G, the Jimmy Graham. For three years at ten million dollars a year, thirty million dollar contract. It's been a while since we had a tight end. We finally got one. I really wasn't too excited about the hearing about the Jimmy G signing. I mean, all these Packer fans was coming at me on Facebook. How could you not like this one? We got a we finally got a tight end now. Go pack go! Go pack go! I'm sitting there looking at these motherfuckers like, didn't Jimmy Graham play in in uh with the Saints with a Super Bowl winning quarterback? Oh 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 oh! Didn't he not go to the Seattle Seahawks and play for a Super Bowl winning quarterback? Wait a minute, hold your horses. He's playing again with another Super Bowl quarterback. <sighs> He's going to have to prove me wrong, man. I'm not too high on Jimmy Graham. Yeah, I'm excited we got a tight end. I really love the Wilkerson pickup. I really love that. Now the guy's going to play with a lot of energy this year, knowing that he's not playing with a sorry-ass franchise like the Jets. He's playing with the Packers. That defensive line is going to be better than it was last year. Um, I still can't uh, get over that uh with the first pick in a 2016 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Kenny Clark when Jerron fucking Reed was there all that time. And what did Jerron Reed do? Oh, he just sacked Dak Prescott a whole bunch of times. Oh, he took his team to a Super Bowl that they lost. But hey, that's just me. Um, I like the Wilkerson pickup. Pretty good pickup. Um, all we could do is hope and see and pray that he doesn't get injured or he has a success or he has a successful season. Um, not only that, we still have Martavius Adams. Oh, I can't wait till that boy get a chance to get on that D line, man. Oh, I can't wait. But you know, Packers finally go out in free agency and try to make something happen it's been a while i think the last time we was julius pepper julius peppers i think yeah whatever um uh i like the aggressiveness that brian gutentis 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 however the fuck you say his name um i'm happy with that um I like the aggressiveness that the aggressive the aggressiveness that the young GM is bringing. Um, right now, I thought we was gonna get Tyron Matthew, but I was kind of figuring like, what would the Packers really be doing? They probably was gonna wait maybe a couple of more days uh, to see uh, if the price can go down. Cause I think that's what they're doing right now. And I think a lot of teams is like, okay, let's not get overwhelmed. Um, and then a whole uh, Packer Nation, man, we could have got Fuller from the Bears. Why would y'all want a nigga that we keep beating all the time? Why would y'all want somebody from the Bears that we keep beating? We beat those motherfuckers. They only won three games since 2010 against the Packers, and that was with Jay Cutler. So relax, man. The Bears ain't shit. <laughs> all these Bear fans, look what we got. Look what we got. We got him. We got him. So what? Y'all still ain't going to do nothing in the division. Jesus, relax. 
But the Packers, you know, I like the aggressive moves. I thought we was going to make one more aggressive move um, for a lineman. I want to, I want, uh, if you're going to give Aaron Rodgers, Jimmy Graham, at least put a goddamn, please go get a lineman or something. That's why I think, I think that's what we're going to do in the first round. We might, people say, oh, we're going to get a cornerback. It might be a, it might be an offensive lineman. We might get an old lineman. You know what I'm saying? All of these teams might be so, uh, in the draft, they might be so wrapped up in this whole Josh Rosen and Baker Mayfield bullshit and Saquon Barkley crap. You know what I'm saying? That they might, um, you know, these teams might slip up on, you know, getting a good offensive lineman. You know, uh, you know, we might sneak right in there and take the best one off the board. So if it's a good lineman on the board, I mean, knowing that we're probably not going to go after any in free agency. Um, I, I forget how long the free agency period is. I think it's like nine days or some shit like that. I could be wrong, but I, I the the Packers are not going to go too crazy in free agency with the salary cap money we have. Um, I think that's it as far as free agencies that we're going to go that we're going after, unless we find somebody that's that's cheap, good and cheap. <clears throat> so you know, of course. Um, with signing Jimmy Graham, we lose Jordy Nelson. Um, a lot of Packer fans were upset about that. And now he's with the Raiders. Uh, I'll get all my shitty tattoos out of the camera for um, somebody recognize some shit. But, um, yeah, anyways, um, good for Jordy Nelson. I mean, a lot of people say uh, Oakland is where your career go to die. Um, I'm just happy he didn't go to the fucking Patriots. I knew he wasn't going to go to the Patriots anyway because they didn't have enough cap to sign him for two years. You know what I'm saying? They wind up letting uh, uh, Danny, Danny M. and Dola walk out. And that shit, the, the Patriots lost a lot of motherfuckers, man. I think this is the, uh, Bill Belichick, you know, uh, you fuck me now, I'm finna fuck you moment. You know, he all of these big time names leaving, they bringing in a defense alignment for the Browns, who I think is okay, he's an exceptional player, but nah, it just looks like Belichick is trying to prove a point with the Patriots, um, you know, he let Malcolm Butler walk out of there and go to the Titans, he let Deion Lewis go to the Titans, um, I mean, everybody, oh, they still got Rex Burkhead, but Rex Burkhead is injury prone. He showed that he's not a, a every game running back. You know, he's good, and then he gets hurt. Um, they still got White over there. Um, I, I think they got another running back that I can't think of right now from the uh, Buffalo Bills, but he didn't do shit. I mean, half the half the season he was in, he didn't even suit up. So who knows what the Patriots is doing? A um, lot of teams making noise. I think the shittiest free agent signing uh, that happened was the Kirk Cousins to the Vikings. Like you guys have seen you 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 guys have seen his body of work, and you pay him, you guaranteeing him eighty six million dollars for three years. I mean, you still gonna have the first year as a trial and error run. And then you got to hope for a successful second season just to give him a contract extension. Who knows how much that is going to be. Um, he better be banking on this defense this year. So who knows, man? Who knows what the fuck the, uh, who knows what the fuck the uh, Vikings are going to do? I mean, Delvin Cook is coming back. They got Thielen. They got uh, uh, Stefan Diggs. They got Kyle Rudolph. Um I like the offensive line. They got some boys on their offensive line. I think they just ran out of gas. So, who knows what the Vikings are going to do. Um, but, oh yeah, Richard Sherman to the 49ers on that shithole contract he's on. Like, Richard Sherman, that contract Richard Sherman got, he's going to have to play like he played, well, uh, you put a sorry receiver on me like Crabtree. He's going to have to be that Richard Sherman if he want to get all them incentives. He's going to have to be that type of Richard Sherman. Plus, I don't think Richard Sherman plays well without a good safety and a good linebacker. You know, that's what made the defense in Seattle so great is that they had Cam Chancellor and they had good linebackers. So who knows what's going to happen with that, with the with the 49ers. I mean, shit, the 49ers still going to draft a cornerback no matter what. Um, with that shitty contract Richard Sherman got, they're going to try to make sure he don't reach his incentives. 
Um, he's going to try to get out there and get on the field. And, oh, yeah, he's going to do that Black Ass Matters Lives thing that he's been doing. He's going to bring it to San Francisco, his ego and his attitude. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if he get into it with the coaches on the sideline because they're not giving him enough play time. You know, you have a ruptured Achilles. I mean, that's a, that's that. I mean, I'm not saying he can't bounce back from me. I mean, he's an athlete, exceptional athlete at that, too. I'm not saying he can't bounce back from him, but it's, you know, the Achilles in, injuries is pretty difficult to bounce back from. So, um, shout out to Richard Sherman, much respect, but I know the reason why you went to the 49ers was a dick move, a vent, revenge. I get to play the Seattle Seahawks twice and I'm going to kick their ass. So I, I could see him, uh, intercepting the ball from Russell Wilson, even though uh, Terrell Pryor is out there right now, Russell Wilson trying to get, you know, a tall, deep threat receiver. Uh, I mean, not to Richard Pryor, uh, Terrell Pryor, you know, former quarterback slash wide receiver. So who knows how that's going to work out. Seattle don't got no fucking offensive line, but I will, I think they will go out the offensive lineman in the free agency. I don't know how much is that, how much that is going to help them in the season um, coming up. But, um, yeah, the Packers, eh, if I was to give them a grade on free agency, I'd give them about a C plus. You know what I'm saying? And the majority of the C plus coming from Muhammad Wilkerson. Uh, we'll see what we do in the draft. I got a feeling we're probably going to wind up trading a couple of picks to get somebody. Who knows what this front office is thinking of. I hope they think thinking Super Bowl because that's what the fans are thinking. Come on now. Aaron Rodgers is getting getting old and long in the tooth now. We can't just keep sitting up here bullshitting this guy's success behind center, you know what I'm saying, on a fucked up ass defense. Um so y'all let me know what y'all think about the, the the free agency pickups the Packers have done. Um we tried to go after a couple of other guys, just didn't fall in our pocket. That's because I think the Packers is trying to be a little cheap, which I don't, you know, blame them for. Um you never want to you never you want to stay even kill in free agency you never want to go too high you never want to go too low um and i think that's what makes bill belichick one of the greatest coaches or one of the greatest gms when it comes to uh free agency he knows he knows when to hold them and he knows when to fold them man and you just got to be smart about it um i'm looking forward to the draft um I'm starting to get a small twinkle in my eye with this team. You know what I'm saying? I think this team could be successful next next year, barring any major injuries to the best player in the NFL, Aaron Rodgers. Um, like I said, if he suffers another injury, uh, you might as well start grooming uh, Deshaun Kaiser. You know, I like the Deshaun Kaiser pickup too, like I said before in the previous video. Um, so we'll see how this shit show goes, man, with the Packers, man. They got... A, a, a lot of things, you know, that they have to address as far as, you know, line, uh, the safeties and corners. And I really want us to fix the offensive line, man. We really have to get that together because I don't want to be waking up on a Sunday morning knowing we got to play against the fucking Lions or the goddamn uh, uh, Vikings. And Don Barclay is out there bar uh, blocking for Aaron Rodgers. That shit would just, <laughs> ugh, that would be so sick to my stomach. I don't even know why the guy's still there. Oh, he's a he's a loyal he's loyal to the Packers. You know he's take plenty of pay cuts. Who gives a shit? Just get better people. So with that being said, shout out to my boy Bryant. Um, I think I forget his channel. I think it's Packer Fanatic ninety eight or some shit like that. Um, if I, if I fucked up your, 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 your YouTube, uh, at, uh, Brian, I'm sorry, man. I got to look at it. Uh, shout out to my boy, Todd. Shout out to, um, Tony Gray. Uh, who else? Other, other Packer fans out there that I know of. Um, I can't really think of them off the top of my head. I'm still trying to wake up, but. Yeah, shout out to Packer Nation, man. I love y'all, even the delusional Packer fans. I love y'all, too. Um, we just have to... There's a dog out there crying. We just have to make sure that this team is doing what they need to do to win another bowl. So with that said, in the meantime, in between time, always keep it G.
Oh, yeah, man. Fucking Lakers, man. Lost to the fucking Heat with all them hurt players. Come on, man. Y'all got to do better than that. Fucking embarrassing.